Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Factorio. Um, now, last episode, I did say that the game was choppy as hell. That is primarily due to OBS and is something I can't fix. So, um, unfortunately, it's going to be in 30 FPS now because apparently the game don't want to go above 30 while OBS is open, which is super annoying. Uh, I've tried alternatives such as Shadow Play, but that doesn't record my audio and there is no way of it doing that apparently. Um, I've tried many workarounds, it just doesn't seem to want to work, so uh, yeah. But I apologise, hopefully we'll get it sorted at some point, but for some reason it's only just started to do it. Uh, and also... You'll notice there is a lot of red on that right side of the map and starting to be on the left side as well. I'm getting a little worried. Um, yeah, we've had several attacks at the east wall. Uh, nothing on the top or the west. Uh, and I definitely want to go over to the uh, little pink dot areas as well at some point. But uh, yeah, I've also uh, done an absolute ton of research off camera. Um, that is really good. And so we've got that going. I've expanded my conveyor productions and stuff. Uh, so we've got ones going down here all the way to this one. This is as far as we've got currently. Still got a long way to go down and across. Um, but if aliens get in, then hopefully something will kick in and defend us. Uh, but also, if we go across this way, you'll see we've got two of these. I don't remember setting these. I can't remember if I set these both up last episode. I believe it only did one. But uh, we've got everything basically going one direction and then another load going the other direction, which if we run on here should go a little bit quicker. Goes up here. We've got turrets going all around. I should probably put another one down here, actually. Uh, I'm going to do that real quick. Let's stick you here. And put... Oh, God, we've got an attack. Oh, shit. Where? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. We are actually going to lose stuff. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, don't give me that right now. I'm not in the mood. Not at all. Oh, God. Balls, balls, balls. Stick that in here. We need a wall up. We definitely need a wall up. Uh. Yeah, I know. Okay, there are. They are destroying stuff. Oh boy. That. That isn't good. Okay, I didn't expect them to attack here yet. Oh boy! Um, right, okay, then I guess that means we need more walls of defense up, um, which I'm going to put up straight away. Um, oh my god, right. Really? Are you going to keep... Is that literally just here? Okay, I'm not worried then. Um, we're going to defend this area for now. Go across here a bit. We need more. Oh boy, we need war. Oh no. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to get guns set up. That is for sure. Let's stick this one here. Uh, we need another one. Oh boy, we need stuff for that. Uh, right, okay. Mm -mm -mm. I wasn't expecting to have to do this. Right, we'll stick some ammo in there for now. Uh, you're dodgy, so I'm going to have to repair you. Have I got a repair kit? No, I don't. Can I make one? No, I can't. Okay, then. Sure. Brilliant. Just what I needed. Uh, right, okay. For now, we'll chop down these trees just so that we can uh, get through here and put some more defenses up. Now, I did actually have an agenda this uh, episode to actually do some stuff, but as it stands right now, that agenda has just changed. Um... Yeah, wasn't expecting that to be a big problem currently, but obviously it now is. So I'm going to have to go off and do some stuff, and I can actually do some more research. So uh, let's do, oh, let's do these circuits, because I'm guessing they're going to come in handy. Lasers, yeah, that's going to be handy. We'll do that. So I'm going to need some of these for now. 
I don't particularly think we really need all of these, but hey-ho. Uh, and I'm going to need some more circuits and stuff. So, right. Um, boop, 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 boop. Need some more turrets going. Uh, definitely need more conveyor belts. We've got plenty of those that we can get. So I'm going to do that. Uh, fixy thing. Probably going to need a couple more of those. Oh my god, right, okay. This is going to be an interesting episode, to say the least. Alright, let's get this going down here a bit more then. And let's get some more defences set up. Because I don't want another attack like that destroying a load of my stuff. So, we're going to go down to about here on this. Going to have uh, pylons there and... I've already got one there, so we don't need to worry about it. You know, I've set up there. And then... Actually, we're going to move this one up. Just so that it's more convenient. Uh, and we're probably going to need a couple more of these things. Uh. Okay, right. So, uh, let's get a underground passage thingy as well. Get everything going as quick as possible. Hey, research done. That was bloody quick. Um, right, okay then. Uh, what should we research next? Engine? Yeah, it could do engine, actually. Uh, hmm. Electronic engine. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We've got this thing, which is the electronic furnace, which doesn't use steam, which is very good. Uh, we've also got robotics that I sort of want to get. And also ammo car would be useful and also a flamethrower. That would be bloody amazing. Um, I'm not going to do that though yet because we haven't got oil set up. Which is definitely a thing on the uh, agenda to get sorted. So we've got smart... Uh, okay, these are stack, stack inserters. We could do with those, I guess. I sort of want to get a tool belt upgrade, so I'm going to go for that. Um... Probably not the most important of things, but it's very useful for me to have. So, let's just get this. And we want that there, and then we want one of those there. Uh, one of those basically going down here, and then across like so. Okay, so we actually need two of the underground things. One there, and then another one. Going across here, like so. Okay, so that should bring those slightly further along. Cool. Uh, we need the fast inserters in to here. And we need then another one which we don't have. Oh, shit. Alright, so we've got more defenses up. We still need inserters going across and stuff, getting that uh, put in. But for now, I think we should be fairly okay. I'm hoping that the production line is going to be fine. I definitely do need to change this setup a little bit at some point. Look at the amount of solar panels we've got though. Why are the aliens so pissed off? It's annoying. Um, sort of wish we hadn't found them. But unfortunately, we did. So we've got to put up with that. But still, uh, we need a pole going there. And I'm going to move you out and stick you down. I guess you can go here. Um, right, so... Next thing would be, good question, um, as I said, I did have stuff organized, now I really don't, so, yeah, that's fun, that's always fun, um, well, let's go across here for now, uh, right, so, we got the wall pretty much up, running, sort of, um, we are going, ah, that's what I wanted to do today, uh, so, we can get a cargo wagon we can we also need to get a diesel locomotion if we want to get a train going uh unfortunately this does require an engine we can't currently craft one though i don't believe and fuel it uh let's have a look can we what does an engine use do we have it unlocked i believe we have it unlocked yeah there it is uh so we need to craft it through that that doesn't seem too bad pipe steel uh cogs and stuff 
That seems fairly easy. We've got steel here, so, I mean, yeah. So, um, if I run this off just a couple more, or go, actually, no, let's just make this a whole new conveyor line. Um, this will be made slightly simpler later on, I guess. I guess. I don't know if it will. Uh, we'll try. We'll try. I'm not guaranteeing anything. There we go. That's that one done. So next thing, I guess, would be the electronic engine. Uh, I could go with that, which would allow me to unlock robotics. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, and rocket silo. Oh yes, we are definitely going with that. So uh, I need to get myself some copper plates, which we are going to create the assembler machi uh, assembling machine twos um and as you can see now we have double the space on our hot bar which is awesome that's exactly what i wanted uh we could put a gate down there we could put pickaxe if we wanted to i'm not going to bother with that that's not necessary um that will fill up pretty quick still though uh right so uh we need to stick this down well, i'm gonna whack it down over here Because then we can insert those into there. I'm going to stick that there. And um, we're going to say that we want to craft engines. So we need to, of course, create some pipes first, which is why I got this second uh, thing here. Now I'm going to whack this one down right here. And we're going to say pipes. So where are pipes? Pipes are here. So we need a couple... We need one of these, yep. And I also need power going to this, which I don't know if I've got any more power lines. Mm, no. So, let's craft some of those up. Get that going there. Then once this is done, this will output, uh, output these to here, which is also going to be where we have this come out. Sorry, that way. So that goes to the top line. I'm hoping this will go to the bottom line. Yep, it will. Cool, right, so that's exactly how I wanted that one going. And then we're going to have that going along here to this. So, now we're going to import on this side. Probably could speed these up, actually. Let's make fast ones. Make a couple of fast ones. There we go. And we need a pole going somewhere. So these should then craft up engines. This is going to take a very long time, it would seem. Um, but that's exactly... I mean, that's just fine. I'm not entirely that bothered. And we are going to have it come out here. We, of course, aren't going to have it going anywhere because there's no real point to it. Uh, we're just going to have it going across like that. So, we don't want too many engines, that's the thing. So, and of course, you would do that, wouldn't you? So, I'll just have you going across here like that. That should do. That should be absolutely fine. These are going to craft up engines now. How many engines do we need for a locomotive? 20! Okie dokie, that's a lot. Um, the next thing I'm actually going to get set up is probably the uh, pump jack. So for this, we literally just need some circuits. We haven't had any aliens attack for a while, which is a little bit concerning. Um, right, so we need some of those. We need some electronic circuits. So give me them, please. There we go. And let's go with the pump jack, get a couple of those going. Right, we need to get out of the wall for this, so Hooray. Um, right, let's go up here. And this will be useful for the... Uh, or this will be useful to have the locomotive to actually get across here like so. Uh, there is actually aliens up there. I don't want them to attack me. Oh god, this is a massive forest. Oh, you would. You would stick the oil right here, wouldn't you? Typical. Right, okay then. I guess we're chopping down trees, lads. Hey, I finally found one. God, that took some time. Right, okay then. Let's get this chopped down. 
Um, we're not going to need too much. Oh, there's actually another one there. I didn't even notice that one. Right, so we're going to get a pump jack going. And this thing is going to go down here. And we're going to have, hopefully, another one going across here. If we can get that out of the way. There we go. So we're going to have two pump jacks. Of course, these do need power. So I'm going to have to try this all the way back. Which is going to be a major pain. Um... So, let's get that going. I guess we could probably run this off of solar power. I don't know how efficient that would be. Uh, of course, we can't really defend ourselves against the aliens at this point on this part of the uh, map. So, it is a little bit of a problem, child, but hopefully we'll be fine. Um, and if not, well, 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 things. So, let's go across here. We've actually got more aliens down there. Oh no. There we go. So that should be fueling up now. So that's good. Now I do know that we can put this stuff into uh, into some different things such as the storage tank. So I'm going to get one of those and then hopefully everything will be hunky dory. Uh, we're going to have that going in to here. Get some more pipes going. I'm going to have that coming down here. We're going to need a lot of piping, just saying. So, in fact, I'm not going to do that right now. We're actually going to just literally have this going into a storage tank. So, I'm going to get rid of these. There we go. And have that going into here. So... One of, do you mind, one of these. So this should start filling up, as you can see it is doing, which is lovely. And then we should be getting some oil. So uh, at least we've got that. We don't actually have the machinery to do anything with it yet, but uh, we do have some oil being stored in that tank. So that's very useful for later on use. And uh, how we want to use the oil. So, because there is several ways of using it, I do believe. Including the flammables, which is, of course, something I want to definitely use it for. Okay, so we've got a few engines up here. Cool. Let's have a... See if we can do anything with those. I don't believe we can at the moment, which is a shame. But uh, we may be able to uh, later on, of course. We do need 20, which we've currently not got enough for. We've only got 12, but hey, you never know. Well, actually, we've got 13 now. Uh... Never know when we can get that set up, so that's cool. Get a bit more of that. Oh my god, empty barrels. There's a lot of stuff for that. Crude oil barrel. Ah, so we have to put that in an assembly. What? That don't make a lot of sense. Well, to me, it don't. Hmm. Right then. Sure. We'll go with it. Sure. Mm hmm. So we do need to make some train stops if we're actually going to get a train properly going. Um, I wonder if we could actually use a gate for this. Actually, we might have to do this outside the wall full stop. Which is going to be a pain, but... Hey, we've got to do it. So, I'm actually going to set up the train station up here, hopefully. Um, and... Oh, hello! Right, what we get? We can't do that for now. We could do that, which will make things quicker. But I definitely want to go for the car, because then it will make things uh, get in around super easy. So I could have a gate here, which is very nice, because when we're not around, it'll go up. When we're around, it'll duck down, which is awesome. I love that. So uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We can work with. So I want to put down some... Train tracks basically going across here. So we're going to go like so. And we'll run out. Okie dokie. Let's get a few more. Now where do we actually need to be? We need to be up this direction. So we could probably start rotating it slightly. Uh, not like that. Let's do it like that. Okay. Are you... Just being a pain. I believe I can actually probably. Can I? No. 
Ah, oh, there we go. That's how you do it properly. There we go. Just dragging out. So we could do that, but we haven't got enough. Okie doke. Um, hmm. May need a few more. Oh, well, we got it semi going. Uh, I'm going to put a stop down. You can see where all of these can be placed. Uh, my one is going to be placed right at the end here. So we're going to have that here. And then we'll have another one at the other end once we've got the uh, train gates finished. So that'll be cool. And basically the way this is going to work is if we just quickly have a look. Uh, no trains. Okay, I can't do anything with that currently. Um, but once we've got it, we're going to have things exporting out basically onto a conveyor belt, which is going to go under the ground and into here. So uh, if it does get attacked, then it won't be as bad as if they actually got into the compound itself. So uh, that's fine with me. Hopefully everything will be hunky-dory if it actually happens. If not, pooey. Um, and it doesn't seem we've got a lot of these going through anymore, the iron plates, which is slightly weird. What is going on with iron plate production? It seems like there's still plenty going through it, just probably shortage because of this thing? No, it can't be. Huh, I actually don't know then. Uh, I'm just going to grab a few more of these. <laughs> Grab a few more of these motors, see what we've got. Yay, we can make a locomotive, a diesel one anyway. Um, I'm going to make a few more of these tracks. And we can actually ride the train as well if it's got fuel. Now, fuel doesn't mean that we actually do have to use diesel. It does mean we can use coal. So that is super cool. Uh, we're going to have this facing this direction. Um, actually, no, we'll have it facing this direction just for sake of use uh, and then we can go in here and we can change different things we can set up the schedule we can do the fuel or we could do the color so we could have it I'm gonna keep it as a red color um, full-on red so uh, automatic or manual we could do that to automatic or whatever uh, currently we can add a station so this one time pause uh, time passed sorry if the inventory is full item count circuit conditions or inactivity for so long uh, so time passed we're gonna go with and we're gonna go with or stick with the 30 seconds we can change that at any point if we want to so I'm just gonna grab uh, get in here and we're gonna look at fuel and we're gonna stick in some coal just because that's the basic fuel we can go with and then if we hold backwards we can go backwards Woo! and then we stop so we can stop wherever we want if we really need to but uh, let's go backwards and just keep placing these down okay right so I'm gonna get out here and we're actually gonna have this no get off oh come on it did the draggy thing earlier now it's not doing it come on there we go okay right so we have to do it like that right so up there and then we can go up even more if we want to. Okay, no, we can't. We don't have enough uh, train stuff going right. So, if we want this to finish, we've pretty much got to expand this, I believe. Which is actually fine, because we've got plenty of uh, stuff going down here. So, uh, we're going to do that. And can I make one more storage silo? No, I can't. Okay, then. Sure. Uh... I'm actually then just going to have this go in a straight line. It doesn't matter if there's a bend in here. Um, we're just going to have it go like so. I know it's a bit plain. We'll probably change it up later if we need multiple trains going. Um, but for now, I think that that will be fine. Um, if we get attacked, we get attacked. If we don't, then great. Uh, we're going to have... Okay, we literally only got one wall. Ah! <laughs> Right, so I'm going to set up another station up here. This is going to be the other end of it. So now we can go back into the train again. You can see which side's the red and blue. So we're going to go all the way back here. And of course, we don't have a cargo wagon at the moment, so we can't actually uh, do too much. But if we look in here, we can uh, go into here, add another station, add the one that we've just placed down. Time passed. And then we're going to do another 30 second run. So if we put that on automatic now, that should mean after 30 seconds, this thing will start going. No path, apparently. What? 
Is it because we're in it? Go to station. Why can't you... Oh, did I accidentally mess up the track? Oh, it should be fine. Why are you being dodgy? Let's stick you down again and give it another try. Uh, that one, time passed 30 seconds. That one, time passed 30 seconds. Go. Okay, fine. Go to that station. Can't you... Oh, no fuel. Duh! Ah, hello. Okay, so we could do some more research. We're gonna go with these, because then we get lasers. We do like lasers. So, go to station. Why can't you... You're not going either station, but why? Any particular reason? Guessing no. Right. Then I guess we'll have to get in here and check that the track's all going. Which it is. Heh. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. Brilliant. I'm not sure why that's doing that. It should definitely not be doing that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, whatever, we'll go and get a wagon and then we're going to end the episode. So, uh, yeah, I have got a bit of stuff done. Not the amount that I really wanted to get done, but um, it could have been worse, I guess. Um, the frame rate is really pissing me off, so I apologize to anyone that is really jarred that I am running this at 30 FPS. I can't change it, I'm afraid, for now. Uh, I may do later on. For now, it's not a thing that is currently happening, which is annoying. I don't know if I need another one of these. I don't think I do. There is no path. Why is there no path? There should be a path. Ah, whatever. Right, so we got a wagon. We can now put stuff in this if we really need to. Uh, I'm going to try and fix this in between episodes. If I can't, then I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Um, but we've got plenty of aliens on the map that seem to want to kill us. We're in a red zone at this point. Oh, boy. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There is a lot of red down here. Oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did, hit that like button. If I stand on this railway, I'm probably going to get killed. I don't want that to happen. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed. I've been Pokepeel, and I will see you all next time. So until then, bye-bye!